Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. Trust you know the Lord is with you today, wherever you find yourself scattered, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. We are finally to Paul's prayer for the church at Philippi. We have heard him let them know that he thanks God for them with great joy every time he remembers them. We have heard how he has the compassion of Christ for them in his heart. And now he tells us what he prays for them. He says this, And this I pray, that your love would abound still more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to test and approve, discern uh, that which is best, that which is excellent and that you would do this so that you would be pure and blameless at the day of Christ, being filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Now, this phrase, uh, I'm praying that your love would abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you can figure out, discern what's best. A couple ways to look at that. Uh, the first way is how we're going to focus on it today, and then we'll take a second look at it on the next episode. Uh, but your love would abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you can discern, figure out what's best, the best course of action to take. And love requires decisions. And we can have the right motives, the best motives, loving hearts, and yet that still requires decisions in terms of how we're going to express that love, what we're going to do with that love, how we're going to show that love. And a lot of times we love, but we make really bad decisions. Uh, I can think of a few different examples. Uh, one would be in terms of parenting, you love your children, but sometimes we are overprotective. And so we make kind of decisions that can actually stunt their growth Lovingly, of course, but still not the best decision. Even if you think of little kids, you know, babies, how are they going to learn to walk? Well, the only way they're going to learn to walk is if the parents put them down long enough so that the kids can begin to crawl and begin to walk. And so if you, out of love, you constantly hold your child so that your child isn't able to walk, which means they're going to fall some, they're never going to learn to walk. So you're loving, trying to protect them, but that's not very smart love because you're not helping them grow. And of course, you can flip that to the other side that we can love, but in loving, sometimes we're foolishly unprotective of our loved ones. And so that's just one example. Uh, I think of another example in terms of someone who is really hungry and so loving them we give them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but they're allergic to peanuts. And so we acted out of love, but we nearly killed them because our love wasn't very smart. I think you're probably getting the picture that a lot of times we can do things out of love. And yet if our love's not very smart, we're actually doing things that are detrimental to the very ones that we're trying to love. So Paul's prayer, that your love would abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you can approve what is excellent, that you can discern what is best. And that's how we want to love. Not love stupid, but love smart. And so wherever you find yourself scattered today, my prayer for you, is that your love would abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, that your loving would get smarter and smarter. And so that we're able to discern, you're able to discern what is best. And so all those decisions that love requires, may God enable us to make those decisions with wisdom. God bless. Have a smart, loving day.